Questions are being raised about failed efforts by firefighters in Xinju County to rescue a 62-year-old man who waited in the window of his burning apartment. Onlookers and family members watched in horror as time ran out for both the firefighters and the man. These images show a man surnamed Lin on the fifth floor of a burning building. He has a chance to live, but he dies. My husband was alive there. The fire hadn't reached him. There was only smoke. I wanted them to save him before the fire came. They tried one ladder truck, then another. By then, more than 10 minutes had passed, and the fire had burned over to him. They didn't dare run up for a rescue. He was burned alive. On Tuesday evening, the fire department received an emergency call. Firefighters reached the scene six minutes later. There were 45 of them. First, they discovered that the lane was too small to fit a ladder truck, and they realized that their conventional ladders would only go up four floors. The man could have jumped, except nobody brought a life-saving airbed. If your ladder truck can't drive in, then give the opportunity to jump. They could have put an airbed out for him to jump onto, but our firefighters don't have that kind of equipment. Firefighters just stood around and watched. Someone else came up with a plan. There was nothing for him to jump onto, so I said we could use blankets. Why couldn't they even think of that? Family members of the victim say the response was severely lacking. The county commissioner agrees. The fire department needs to take full responsibility. The entire organizational structure of the department is too rigid. Its regular training is insufficient. It took a deadly blaze to expose the incompetence of the county's firefighting crew. Fire Chief Wu Tai has been demoted to a non-managerial position. Investigators, meanwhile, are trying to determine the cause of the fire.